Today I'm going to talk about two words you never want to hear in the same sentence. Testicles and mutilation. Thumbs up for testicle mutilation. No? Hey. What's up? Hey. What's up? So a man went in for a surgery to get a Sith removed from his right testicle. And when he went in for the surgery, the doctor didn't remove the cyst. Well, technically he did remove the cyst, but he also removed the entire right ball. What the fuck, man? When you're a man working on another man's testicles, you have to be careful, okay? You have to know to be careful. You never thought to ask the nurse and double check if you're supposed to cut this man's balls off. You were just like, you know what? I have a feeling I'm not supposed to cut this entire ball off, but I'm just gonna go with my gut on here and slice it right off. Have you no heart? Have you no balls? How can you not feel bad about cutting off a testicle? Even if you were supposed to cut off a testicle, you should not just be able to cut off a testicle. I swear, if I was a doctor, that would be like one surgery I could never perform. I would never be able to do ball surgery. I'd have a weak stomach for it. I could see blood, I could see amputees, but if I saw someone cutting into some balls, I might puke in his balls. You know, like I cut a little slit in his balls and then I get really sick and I puke and it goes in the slit of his balls. Just in case you didn't get that, I thought it would be awesome if I went into graphic detail. This doctor actually took a lot of the patient's drugs himself. There was a time when he was told to put 10 milligrams of a drug into a patient and he put 8 milligrams in the patient and 2 milligrams in himself. Yeah, like it's not bad enough that you're getting surgery on your balls, but the guy's drugged up while he's cutting into your balls. That's just awesome. That's just wonderful. Wonderfully fucked up. Ah. And the fact that he was on drugs just makes me think that this was something that could have been prevented, you know? Like, he probably was just hallucinating. He looked down at this guy's balls and he thought it was a monster trying to eat his face, so he cut off the monster's head and then realized, oh wait, it's just a testicle. Whew. Good thing I'm okay. I want to see how this guy reacted when he woke up and saw that his ball was missing. It was probably just like, oh, what the fuck? You cut off the big one. So as if this story about a man losing one of his balls wasn't bad enough, I heard another story just recently about a man that got his ball caught in a zip line. Well, they called it a flying fox, but I never heard of that before. And basically what it is is a zip line. But if you know it by a flying fox, well, that's what he got his testicle caught in. So if you're confused, basically what that means is that he was suspended in midair by a rope that was attached to his testicle. So he was hanging by his testicle. Oh, and if you want to know what it looks like, it would look something like this. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, I can't, I can't believe it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, dude? Why didn't you just cut the rope? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's great advice now. Where were you five seconds ago when I was cutting off my nuts? So I was at Toys R Us earlier today, and if you're wondering why I was at Toys R Us, it's not because I'm an immature man-child that still likes to buy toys. It's because I was trying to kidnap children. But anyway, while I was at Toys R Us trying to kidnap children, I got recognized by someone. Someone recognized me as Fluffy. Well, not at first. They were like, I know you from somewhere. Have you been on TV? I was like, well, no, not really. Well, have you seen this show called The Internet? I'm on there a lot. He was like, yeah, I go on YouTube a lot, and I'm like, oh, do you know Fluffy? And he was like, no fucking way, you're Fluffy, I need your autograph. And I was like, no, fuck you, and I left. No, I'm kidding, I gave him my autograph. I wrote Fluffy on a piece of paper and said to him, and it was really weird, but he gave me a free bag, so that was cool. It would have cost me a whole five cents. The perks you get from being an internet celebrity, it's amazing. So this got me thinking. I want to know what your favorite toy is. You know, like, it could have been something you loved when you were a kid. It doesn't have to be something you love right now. Me, I guess my favorite toy is probably a big wheel when I was a kid. I used to have, like, big wheel destruction derbies with my friends and shit. So what's your favorite toy? Leave a comment or a video response and let me know.